Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Carlo Rivera, representative ng TAMS International Business School. TAMS, together with PTTC, are the learning partners of DTI in this project. On behalf of the organizers, I'd like to welcome all of you to Control Plus Bids Reboot Now with this masterclass entitled, How to Set Up Your Business Online. Itong Control Plus Biz Reboot Now ay bahagi ng mga proyekto ng DTI na tutulong sa transformation ng mga micro, small, at medium enterprises sa pagnenegosyo na gamit ng e-commerce technologies. Ang programming ito ay may kasamang assistance tulad ng access sa e-commerce platforms at enablers, loans, discounts galing sa delivery platforms, at libreng training at webinars. In the spirit of Bayanihan, our enabling partners across the entire e-commerce ecosystem will provide their expertise and experiences on how to take advantage of the digital space. Before we start our session, may I first introduce to you the DTI Echo ASEC, Mary Jean Pacheco, who will give the opening remarks for our speaker, Business Development Head for Lazada, Petros Carbonell. ASEC Jean? Magandang uh, hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, 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 nasa ikahuling uh, yugto na tayo po ng ating webinar for the day. Uh, and I'm very glad that uh, marami pa po kayong nandito ngayon at saka po sa mga tumatangkilit sa ating Facebook page, no sa, sa DTI e-commerce uh, Facebook page. So ngayon po, um, uh, natutuwa po kami kagaya sa mga nandito po ngayon. Gusto ko lang pong sabihin na ang reboot package ng DTI ay uh, it, ang training po na tinatawag natin Control Bids Reboot Now ay isa lamang ho sa mga marami pang ayuda na pwede namin pong uh, gusto namin ipamahagi para ho ma-prepare po natin yung mga SMEs natin dito ho sa pag pag-venture po into online business. Alam po natin kasi that uh, dahil ho sa dati pa, alam natin na ang e-commerce ay talagang uh, maraming oportunidad, pero nabigyan ho siya ng lalong uh, emphasis ngayon nung dumating po si COVID-19 dahil marami po talaga sa atin ngayon ay umaasa na talaga na sa online. Ano po. At uh, natutuwa ho kami kasi uh, binibigyan din po ito ng pagkakataon na ma-promote natin sa mga SMEs na hindi pa ho nag-online. At uh, doon naman sa mga nag-online na, eh, para pa ho ma-expand pa po yung business. So, um, uh, mamaya po siguro pagka bago tayo magtapos, ay pwede ko hong ma-discuss yung lahat ng mga, mga iba pang uh, uh, packages of assistance na ginawa po ng, ng DTI. Pero kaya lang po ko siguro mag, magkwento lang po ako that uh, uh, dito po sa Control Biz Reboot Now, pag tinanong po natin, at bakit ano ba yung title na yan? At bakit ba Control Biz Reboot Now? Ang ibig sabihin lang ho niyan ay simple. Ngayon po kasi, uh, it, we, 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 you, kayo pong nasa negosyo, eh talagang very challenging ho. No, very challenging. Marami ho talaga tayong hirap na nadadanasan ngayon. Hindi lang ho sa bansa natin, kahit sa ang bansa na rin po. Ano? So ang gusto lang ho natin sabihin, kagaya ho ng video na pinakita natin, kaya natin yan. So we have to take control of our business. Um, uh, alam nyo ho, sa dinami ho ng topics natin, pinili ko ho itong, itong, itong uh, module na to, How to Start Your Online Business. Kasi... Yan po yung lahat ng mga marami pong nagtatanong sa akin. So, um, so ang sinasabi ho ng mga kabataan nga, panahon na para mag-reboot, ulitan, uh, simulan natin. So, uh, hindi na po ako magtatagal. Marami po akong salamat uh, kay Sir Petrus of Lazada na siya naman ho ngayon ang ating, uh, ang ating uh, inimbitahan. Uh, if you were with us since the morning, uh, you have seen that uh, most that the speakers that we have here with us today are all coming from the e-commerce sector at nagpapasalamat po talaga kami ng marami kasi naging sila po ay naging uh, very generous no with their time and with their with their resources kaya po sila nandito ngayon so we are very thankful we are also thankful to thams um the crew of uh, Joel Santos Carlo and all the thams people 
they're our learning partner. At sa PTTC po, na siya din po talagang uh, uh, nag, nag-organize nitong, itong ginagawa po natin ngayon. And of course, yung nakita niyong disenyo at yung messaging kay Wonderman Thom- Thompson po, siya po ang aming uh, design, uh, aming agency partner. So, uh, we are very happy. It's a bayanihan ho na niniwala po, nagpapasalamat po talaga si DTI na kahit na sa konting panahon na pagsama-sama po namin at na-organize po namin at Sobra po kaming uh, natutuwa sa dami po ng suporta ninyo. Sa lahat ng mga negosyo centers natin in the nationwide, thank you and uh, I hope that you will encourage all of the SMEs that uh, that you're helping to ano to uh, to support no all of these training seminars that are for free. And to those of you if you still have um, friends and family who would be interested, please just follow the link uh, and then um uh, sa sobrang dami po nang nag-register, hindi na ho na kaya ng Zoom. Uh, kaya nag-ano na, na, po kami na mag-Facebook Live. So with that, uh, that's all that ano ho. We, we are not endorsing any particular platform. Uh, we, what we want to do, what we are saying in DTI is that we are giving all all of you the options. Um, kayo po ang mamimili kung ano po ang gusto nyong klaseng. Uh, online, kayo po gusto nyo magtayo ng sarili nyong website, gusto po ninyong pumunta sa Facebook, gusto nyo mag Instagram, or gusto po ninyo mag Lazada, Lazada, special mention, Delke Petrus, uh, kayo po, binibigay po namin ang lahat ng informasyon na yan para sa inyo. So, four, four days ito, Carlo, no? we, will tell, we have until May 2, and I would really, really uh, request everyone to please uh, take advantage uh, while we are still in quarantine. Uh, ano ho, pinag, pinag-isipan po namin to sa DTI at ng mga partners. So yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Uh, at uh, uh, Petrus, uh, we, I will be your avid listener so that I too will learn from your masterclass today. Maraming salamat, Carlo, and welcome, Petrus. Maraming salamat, Asek Jin. So, uh, it's time for our speaker to begin. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Business Development Head for Lazada, Petrus Carbonell, on how to set up your business online. Take it away, Pets. Hi, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Uh, Kami sobrang natutuwa na kami inibitahin nyo dito, lalo na kay Asik Jean, no? I think ang laking opportunity na to for uh, all our existing MSMEs out there to start going online. And if I could share my screen, no, I'll start with this. No? Um, for now, we, we really believe, and naniniwala po talaga kami, na napakalaking opportunity po ngayon. At sa lahat ng mga tao ngayon na nandyan na, na nanonood, uh, hindi po, kahit na ngayon pa lang po kayo mag-start, very welcome po kayo lahat. So, Ang gagawin ko po ngayong hapon ay puntahan ko muna, magpag-usapan po natin bakit kailangan mag-online, ano yung mga advantages niya, susunod ay papakita natin ano yung mga basics na kailangan tandaan para pag ikaw yung nag-set up ng online business mo. And then sa huli, magbibigyan ko ng example na Lazada specific para kung gusto niyo mag-start ng business sa Lazada, pwedeng pwede na kayo agad magsimula. So, ito. Pagka ako yung pumitik, it takes mga one second. Right now, nagdi-deliver pa rin tayo ng tens and tens of parcels. Every day po. So tuloy-tuloy yan. Uh, habang tayo nakaupo dito, tuloy-tuloy po ang delivery, tuloy-tuloy po yan. And that's why we're inviting lahat ng mga tao to start go- doing their online business. Pero ano ba yung e-commerce? So, uh, pagbigyan niyo lang ako konti, uh, I'll just have a little bit of a discussion. Pero e-commerce lang is just buying and selling online. So kung meron kayong website, or mag-plug in kayo ng mga platform, sariling website, or platform na ng Lazada, or uh, Facebook, Instagram, lahat po yan ay e-commerce. Ngayon, in Southeast Asia and in the Philippines, napakalaking mga investments na ng mga worldwide companies into e-commerce. So, uh, makikita natin yun ng mga uh, big names in the industry. Talagang pumupunta sila sa Pilipinas, pumupunta sa Southeast Asia, kasi naniniwala sila na malaki ang growth. Before ECQ and during ECQ and after ECQ, we really believe that this will still grow. In fact, pagkatingnan natin yung e-commerce, no? e-commerce uh, is just one part of the internet economy. Ang internet economy, na pinamalaki dito ang e-commerce, which is uh, uh, grow, set to grow by 2025 by at least 39% figure, meaning by 
uh, for the Philippines, mas malaki pa yan. So the message is, ang laki-laki pa ng opportunity natin na tinitignan bago tayo umabot dyan sa 2025. Saan po galing yan? Saan po galing yung mga customers natin? Alam naman po natin lahat, tayo ay may mga Facebook, may mga Instagram po tayo, may mga Messenger, lahat po. And yan po talaga ang customer natin. Even before ECQ, it has been happening. And that trend will continue. Lalo na ngayon, lahat ng tao na sa bahay, lahat sila tumitingin sa cellphone, tumitingin sa kanilang mga laptop, sa kanilang mga TV, uh, and browsing different kinds of media and content. Lahat po sila nandyan. But hindi lang naman po yan yung ginagawa nila, di ba? Once an, nakakita na sila ng online media at uh, tapos na mag-Facebook, tapos na mag-post, they also go to different kinds of website. So we can see doon sa mga top websites na pinupuntahan po ng mga Pilipino, kasama po dyan yung mga sites na tulad ng Lazada where people start to buy. So namimili po yung mga tao after po nila magkaroon ng, uh, ay, after nila manood at uh, mag-post and consume yung mga content online. So what we are saying this is that it is your opportunity and e-commerce is your opportunity here in the Philippines. Bakit? So let me go through a little bit lang ano yung mga advantages of being in e-commerce right now. So on e-commerce, like for an example dun sa Alibaba, first three minutes may $1 billion. 15 minutes, $5 billion na. First hour, $8.6 billion. And in 24 hours, ang daming benta. It is only possible because multiple and simultaneous transactions happening, everything at the same time. Sabay-sabay po bang bumibili at walang problema po yan pag e-commerce. Before, in a different setup in an offline store, kailangan pong pumila yung mga tao sa mga kahera at isa-isa pong kailangan mag-transact yan. But with e-commerce, this is not a problem. In fact, this is one of the most enabling uh, Factors of e-commerce na sabay-sabay po lahat. Whether bumibili yan ng mga items na sa inyong store or sa ibang store, sabay-sabay po nangyayari yan lahat. And this is the power of e-commerce. The next is uh, nationwide access. So lalong-lalo na po sa mga MSMEs natin. We encourage everyone to go online because before, limited kayo sa kung saan lang yung travel distance ng mga customer nyo. The last and within 5 kilometers yan. Anything beyond, nabababa na po yung mga interest mga para sa mga customers bumili. Kasi medyo malayo. But for an MSME, going online is perfect. Because you can reach the whole Philippines. And that's the power also of e-commerce. So now, you ask for Petros. No? Petros, uh, Paano ba ako magsisimula? Diba? So, so sa mga ano dyan, digitally savvy or parating nasa Facebook or tumitingin sa Instagram, sometimes makita natin mga store, I'm sure marirecognize nito, HM po, NPM send. How do we do business in an offline world? Where do I start? Yan ang questions na parati natin iniisip. So, maraming mga models yan. No? For e-commerce, the question is, ano ba yung applicable sa akin? So, there are three basic models of e-commerce. So first of all is consumer to customer, meaning I'm a consumer myself, I'm an individual, and then I start selling to a customer. There's also B2B, which is business to business, na I'm a business, nagbibenta ko rin sa, ka, sa iba pang business. Halimbawa, kung meron akong business na gumagawa ng face shields, kung ako yung nagbibenta ng acetate, yun po yung aabot sa kanya. So business to business po, siya yung customer ko, yung ibang, ibang negosyo. And meron tayong B2C, which is business to customer, na today, ngayong hapon, yan yung pag-uusapan natin. And for most MSMEs and uh, registered businesses, this is what is most applicable. Now, using Lazada as an example, there are various business models no, if you want to set up your own store. So besides thinking about what kind of selling that I want, ano ba yung mga business models na pwede Pag pupunta tayo sa Lazada, for example, or yung sa akin mismo. So the first one is being retail. So retail is, bibentahan ko somebody like Lazada. Si Lazada magbibilin sa akin lahat ng mga stocks ko, lalagay sa warehouse, tapos ibibenta to the consumer. 
Meron din tayong cross border na from somewhere else around the world pupunta siya to through a platform or through somebody in the Philippines and then pupunta siya sa customers. Pero our focus ngayong hapon will be the marketplace model which is most likely that one that's most relevant to most of us who are watching right now. So yung marketplace natin na tinatawag na model is somebody, ako ay asang seller, I will go through either a website, my own website, or through a platform, and then I will sell to consumers. So ganyan po yung business model natin. So when you set up your own store, you have a lot of options. So besides talking about B2C, uh, C2, C2C, or B2B, there are also uh, what model or business model do I want to engage in. So whether it's for a platform, tulad ng Lazada, or mga technology platforms like us, or making your own website, this is the same thing. Now, here on the screen, no, I'm, I just uh, got a lot of the top uh, platforms that you will see or mga e-commerce sites in Southeast Asia. So sa Pilipinas, we will see a list of mga platforms that you can uh, engage with so that you can start your online store. So ayan po, uh, marami po tayong mga options. Again, as sabi po ni Asik Gino, uh, we are trying to give everybody here all the options that are possible. And for us, and for me, that's Lazada, that is only one option. Now, ano ba yung kailangan kong isipin pag mag-setup ako? Yan naman parating question. No? Parang, Pets, paano ba? Ano bang kailangan ko isipin pag mag-setup ako? Kasi I'm new to e-commerce, bago pa lang ako, nagsisimula pa lang ako, ano yung mga kailangan ko isipin? So, for me, there are four basic things na kailangan mo i-setup. Unang-una sa lahat, who, isipin ko, sino ang aking audience? Saka nasaan sila? Importante pong isipin natin kung anong target market natin, sino po yung gusto nating bentahan, at nasaan sila? Pangalawa, eh, ano ba yung product na aking yung offer? Is it a service? Is it a product? And what will I offer to my customers? Ano yung uh, binibenta ko? And bagay ba siya sa aking audience? Now, the next one is fulfill. No? Fulfill meaning how and when will I be able to deliver to my customer? And fulfillment is not just about delivering. So commonly, iniisip natin, ah, paano ba ako fulfill? Eh, it's delivering, logistics. But it, it's also about payment. Paano ba yan? Ano yung i-fulfill ko? So yan po yung three very basic things uh, to, to begin and think about. So building and engaging audience or engaging the audience. Where do I get my audience? Because if I'm going to make my own website, I need to be able to get enough traffic. Kailangan may pupunta sa website ko. Kailangan i-market ko yan. So either uh, mag-invest ako sa mga uh, social media, mag-invest ako sa mga affiliates, or I have to do some marketing para to build and engage my audience. And it's not just about building the audience. It also means engaging them. Paano sila magsistay sa website ko or wherever I'm going to go there. Product offer, no? What? Ano ba yung una-offer ko? Is it relevant to them? And when I say product offer, kailangan malinaw sa kanila kung ano yung kanilang, uh, anong kanilang binibili Ano yung kanilang, uh, ano yung kanilang uh, terms or ano yung mga makukuha nila exactly. So online, oh, if offline yung mga tao are very, maybe a little bit forgiving, when they go online, people are actually more strict. People are actually looking for higher quality. Because hindi mo nahawakan yung product. Eh. Even before you're able to buy, you have to build that trust. Which brings me to the last point. No? What do I need? How do I build trust? So when we say building trust, dito sa e-commerce, it's all about three things. First is payment. Paano ba ako mababayaran? No? So most online retailers prefer to have free payment. Um, as, a, as a seller or as a negosyante, syempre gusto ko mabayaran ako. Pero pa paano yun? It should be in a way na gusto ng customers natin. Now, ako, question ko, willing ba ako to take the risk na mag-COD ako? Kasi mataas ang possibility na pagdating doon, either makancel yan or mag-deny yung customer or hindi ko siya maabutan. 
So maraming questions that revolve around payment. Second is about quality. So quality, customers, you have to build that trust and you have to build that uh, uh, impression that they are secure when they're buying online. Secure in terms of their uh, safety and secure also in terms of the product that they will that they, you are offering that the quality is as they are expecting. And third is logistics. So again, how will I give that to the customer? Paano ba darating sa customer yan? So yan po yung mga challenges and things that we need to take into account when starting our online business. So now I talk about uh, a marketplace platform like Lazada. So ang trabaho po ng isang marketplace platform ay magkaroon ng audience. So kung kayo po ay mag sa sign up sa isang platform tulad ng Lazada, kayo po ay assured na meron kayong audience. So madali siya mag-sign up. At least for sellers, madali lang yan. And especially now, that you're working very hand-in-hand -hand with the uh, DTI led by ASIC Gene, we have made the sign up easy and free. So very important po yan. Now, matchmaking. Second. Yes, gusto ko mapansin ang produkto ko. Pero paano yun? So for a marketplace platform, it is their job to be able to connect the seller and the buyer. Dapat sila ay mag-meet. Hindi dapat na nakita na ng buyer yung hindi na ayaw niyang hanapin. Kasi baka umalis na lang siya ng site. So that's why for a marketplace platform like Lazada, we have this thing called personalization. Lahat ng sa app namin, iba-iba po yan ng, ano, ng nakikita niyo. So not two people with the same app will have the same items exactly that they will be seeing. And then, importante po yung rules and standards. Sabi ko kanina, very important ang building trust. So, rules and standards are very important. So, kaya may seller ratings, uh, protection of intellectual property, and mga non-compliance penalty points. Kasi that tries to ensure that both the experience po ng buyer and seller has to be uh, high of high quality. And tools and services. Now, later we'll get into this more in detail. But, Whatever you're trying to do, you should have tools and services available para you can make your store succeed. So I will get into the meat of the discussion. No? So joining a platform and using Lazada as an example. So first and foremost, going online is fast and easy. So it is free online registration. It's accessible for everyone and convenient and user-friendly. Madali lang po yan. So, um, yung normal business documents po that you're required for a business, uh, like yung mga business permits, COR, um, yan po, eh, we also ask that to be uploaded. So, there's nothing additional, but whatever is required by uh, government, we are also requiring all our sellers to have. So, ito po, if you look at the screen, um, sell on Lazada, that, uh, sell on Lazada you can click this screen and then diretso na po kayo dyan sa self-sign-up page. Second po is, uh, uh, we are making it free for everybody to sign up. So as long as you have your phone and your business documents and, or an ID, a government ID, uh, within a few minutes po, meron na po kayong Lazada, uh, Lazada account. So I'll, uh, if gusto nyo po, pwede nyo pong i-screenshot ito and then you can go directly to yung SSU. Now, once you join Lazada, we have this thing called seller tools. Now, how paano ko ini-explain to usually is kung ano po ang equivalent ito offline, ganun din po yung gagawin niyo online. So, yung seller tools na meron kami uh, are the same as yung mga ginagawa natin offline. So, store builder is basically Paano ba ako magse-set up ng store which is usually the first step. Second is instant messaging. Parang yan po yung ating uh, parang uh, ahente. So kung meron pong mga nandoon sa or merchandiser, yan po yung instant messaging kasi pag may magtatanong yung mga customer natin, kailangan may ready po tayo na magsasagot diyan. Kailangan natin mag-promotion, may kaya may promo tools tayo. This is one thing na kailangan talaga and uh, next is Lori Kit which is yung product display page. How can we improve the merchandising? How do we present it to the customers? And then lastly, seller picks. 
So how will I be able to promote that in terms of the platform? So first of all, no, store builder. So ang store builder po, uh, once nag online kayo, so tapos na tayo mag-register, may nakreate na tayo ng account, nag-upload na tayo ng ating product. Yan po, we have to use store builder. Meaning, we have to make our store look uh, nice. Kasi yung mga customers po natin, they want to look for something that appeals to their visual or appeals to their, ano, uh, for, for what they want. So that's for Lazada po yung tulang store builder. So when you set, once, uh, once you set up your store, once you click and have an account, yan po ang titignan natin. Gamitin natin yung store builder and tutulungan po kayan may step-by-step -step process. Nakikita nyo sa screen. Mag-upload kayo ng mga items and then tutulungan po kayan magkaroon ng design sa store. So marami pong options dyan on Lazada and other platforms so that you will be able to build your store online. So tech, uh, for most platforms po, Madalas po meron yang uh, technology solution para magkaroon ng uh, magandang tindahan online. Ito, instant messaging. As I said a while ago, mga customers po will always and always ask questions. And how do we answer that? Instant messaging. So there are a lot of ways to do this. So for us, doon mismo sa inyong uh, account ng Lazada as a seller, you will be able to chat with your customers. So, andun yung mga pangalan nila, ano yung mga questions nila, at kayo po yung makakasagot dun kung meron kayong uh, standard answer o kung hindi naman ay gusto niyong sagutin siya directly. So, this one is very important. So, so just to recap a little bit, sign up, set, set up your store, and then make sure somebody is going to answer your uh, messaging. So, next po, promo tools. Of course, one of the reasons for that people buy kasi they want a bargain. Yun yung gusto po nilang makamura. Gusto pa nilang uh, mapansin yung mga items nyo. Then, we can use promo tools. So, iba-ibang klaseng mga promo tools yan. Pwede kayo mag-free shipping, ilibre niyo yung shipping sa mga customers. Pwede niyong gamitin yung flexi combo, meaning uh, bumili ka na mas marami, may matitipid kang X percent or something like that. Or vouchers, meaning if you reach a certain spend, like 1,000, then I'll give you 500 off. There are a lot of ways for to market your products on the platform. Seller picks. No? This one will make you have a more detailed view of products that you as a seller will want to feature first. Kumbaga, the way I explain this, pagka offline tindahan, ano yung gusto niyong item na feature? Ano yung featured item of the month? Yan po yung seller picks ninyo. So this is very important for when setting up your store. When you set up your store, you have to have uh, a way na meron kayong item, kumbaga parang bida. Ito yung ibibida ko na item, sigurado, sisikat ako dito. Yan po, how do you do that is through seller picks. Next po, lorry kit. Lorry kit is a tool that we use para customers will be able to see better your product. Now, Hindi usually mga tao, no, uh, when we start, so I upload the product, uh, may mga standards lang, like white background, malinaw na picture, and magandang lighting. Very basic lang naman yun. Uh, but kayo po, if you're a buyer, of course you want to see the details of your product. So dyan po tumutulang lorry kit. Yung, yung tool na yan will help you be able to... Uh, Will be, will, be, will be able to help you go online and make your product display page better. Meaning yung mga products will be able to, malalagay nyo dun yung mga description na dapat, yung pictures na dapat, and it will be easier for you. And last, no, as I said, what, one of the things na kailangan to take into consideration when putting up your online store is consumer engagement. So, marami po tayong... Uh, ways to talk to our customer, to build the relationship with the customer. Kung meron po tayong mga brand o tayong, tayong mga negosyo, gusto natin to have a good relationship with our customers. And that's why we have engagement uh, modules. So marami pong ways yan. So number one is flash sale. So kadalasan, ang number one po na may kita nyo is yung flash sale pag pumupunta kayo sa Lazada after yung banners. So when you look at the flash sales, it is a very good tool for you to engage new customers and old customers alike. Kasi nakita agad yun. So, if you have a very good deal, 
you will want to put it on flashes on apply para ma-apply po yan sa flashes. Pangalawa po, price slash. So ngayon, price slash po ano yan? Ang price slash po ay pwede yung i-share na item. So mas maraming tao mag-slash, uh, tapos pwede nyo lagyan ng kota yan para after, after a few slashes, the price will go down and then mabibenta nyo yan at a better price na parang na-discounted price yan. So this is one way na para pwede nyo pasikatin yung products nyo. So for example, gusto nyo magbigay ng free item, pero kailangan yung, yung, yung buyer na yun has to share it to 5,000 people and slash the order. So, nagiging exciting siya kasi may community yung, yung lahat ng buyer natin. So, since may community sila, they will share it. And if they share it, it's very exciting, they get a reward after. So, it helps your store be able to uh, get more audience and get more buyers and followers. So, meron games on Lazada. So, Uh, this is one way to engage also customers. Uh, pwedeng mag-collect sila ng coins while playing games. And malaking opportunity yan to convert to sales. And then last but not the least, no? live streaming. So live streaming po, ayan, uh, pwede ko yung magkaroon ng any content. So kung meron ko yung mahilig sa inyo na uh, mag magpalabas like this, uh, So, marami po tayong ways to ano, to engage our customers. So, ano, uh, I just want this to make it very quick kasi uh, the message actually here it's very easy and then we'll give a little bit more time for the Q&A. But I'd like to share with you a story. Back in 2012, we had a seller. Ito yung warehouse niya and then 2019, bago na yung warehouse niya. Ang dami niyang stocks kasi dumami na benta niya. Dati 600 square meters siya with 10 staff and 30 orders per day. 2019 last year, 1,500 square meters with 75 staff per day and 1,000 orders per day. Yan po ang ating vision for all our MSMEs to give them a playground or a playing field where they can excel and uh, be able to offer an equal ground to all the customers in the Philippines. So ang dream po natin para sa mga MSMEs is to start now So set up your online store, go national, and then go global. So just to recap a little bit, uh, sign up, make your online store, build it so that you will be able to uh, have a uh, beautiful store online, upload your products, and then start fulfilling. Maraming salamat po.